everybody, welcome to Nacho Knowledge. This is going to be a series where we talk about all the nerdy stuff and how it relates to off-road lighting. Today we're talking about a Ganeo photometer. What it is, how it works, and how it captures that data. We'll talk about the data in future episodes, but let's get started. First up, let's look at a diagram of what a Ganeo photometer is. It's a system, you mount a light, it shines down a hallway, and then there's a photometer at the end that measures light at a specific angle and a specific intensity. That feeds it back into our supercomputer. The supercomputer tells us exactly what that beam of light is doing and gives us all kinds of fun data, lumens, lux, intensity, beam width, field width, you name it. So let's take a look at ours. We mount the light in this clamp. We test all our lights with a fan. That way it's apples to apples. I'm gonna do a walkthrough. Lights mounted in the clamp, goes down the hallway with the baffles in it. And at the end of the hallway, we've got our photometer. And you kind of see me down there. Light shines in that photometer, feeds it back to the computer, and we get our model. So let's get started with the test. This is real speed, but we're absolutely not going to do it at real speed. Let's speed this thing up. Here we go. All right. Does one scan through, rotates 10 degrees, does another scan through, rotates another 10 degrees. It's going to do this all the way around a full hemisphere to measure all the light. So what kind of data do we get out of it? Well, if you go back to our supercomputer, this is what we get. And this outputs an IES file, which can be used for lots of different things, modeling light output, comparing our lights, comparing competitor lights, and you get a 3D model of the beam of light. There you can see me rotating it around. This is a flood beam. And it's really nice for comparing beam width and lux at distance and all kinds of other fun stuff. Now that we've done that, let's go back and check on our test. Looks like it's gone through about all the way. We're going to dive into all the data that we get out of this machine. Lux, lumens, intensity, candela, all that good stuff in future episodes. But today was just a quick overview of how we get that data and what kind of machine we use to get it. Make sure and click the subscribe button on YouTube so you won't miss a single episode of Nacho Knowledge. Thanks for watching.